friends and fam. It is a brand new tub talk. <laughs> Ew! I literally got showered by your oh. goo and your shower. Do you need one of those? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, um, spring has sprung here, and um, should we I, should we talk some like allergy remedies or something? I don't know what's going on here. You know what? That's a good idea. Um, because obviously I need it. So today's episode is about allergy remedies, the all natural kind, okay? Yes, all natural. I'm gonna blow my nose. Yes, well, he does that. You gonna get in the tub or what? <laughs> So if you are an allergy sufferer, you're feeling it by about well, right now, right? I was suffering from them only because you spat them all over my shoulder. Thanks I, a lot. I sneezed my allergens <laughs> all over Allie. They call you Allie for that very reason. Uh -huh. You have al Allie geez, anyway. Uh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I was trying to do a pun and it didn't work. So, um, so close. But what will work for you uh, is probably if you're an allergy sufferer are some natural allergy remedies that we're going to talk about because a lot yes. of times people just do antihistamines and, and, and and drugs that you can get over the counter or by prescription that are not all natural. We prefer so to go this route. We prefer to go to the natural route. What's the first one that you have for us, Allie? My first one is apple cider vinegar. Ah. Are you familiar with? I'm familiar with. We we've actually um, discussed in our in our previous life in a, another <laughs> hosting show, a different show. <laughs> uh, we uh, we uh, talked about uh, uh, apple cider vinegar quite a bit. As, yeah. Like for different. Yeah, things, you can use it things. for all sorts of stuff. Um, but it's also really good for allergies it reduces mucus production and also helps cleanse and clear your lymphatic system but the key is and this you should be aware if you've never used apple cider vinegar dilute it with some water because it is really really potent and strong yeah. and if you take a shot of it without diluting it the, the first time I did that I thought it had like burnt away my esophagus <laughs> I was like oh my god is my esophagus still there so <laughs> make sure you dilute it but it but it's very helpful what yeah. about you what's your tip another one that I have found this is one that I've actually never tried myself, but it's one that a lot of people swear by. Um, I actually, was, as I was kind of doing some research into this, I knew that we're going to talk about this today. Um, it kept coming up over and over and over again. Is butterbur extract? Butterbur. Butterbur. Yes, I'm not saying butter beer like in the whole Harry Potter world. <laughs> I'm saying butterbur. Um, it's it's an extract. You get it in pill form. You can order it online. You can probably possibly find it at an, like a natural food store, sure. or maybe even a pharmacy because it is uh, seems to be very popular. So it's an herb. Uh, it's an herb, it's an herbal supplement, and you take it, and people, they, they call it the natural version of Singulair, which oh. is uh, actually a medication that I've taken in the past to help uh, with your whole upper respiratory system and allergies and the swelling in your nasal cavities and your upper respiratory. Wow. So that's, it actually, as a matter of fact, a small bit of trivia in case you're ever on a game show, um, <laughs> it dates back to the Middle Ages. People used to treat the plague with it back in the day. My Lord, I am so glad. So, yeah, we're talking about Butterbur. Butterbur. That's, uh, you know. Well, I've got a. In case you have the plague. I've got a favorite one for you. How yeah. about some bee pollen? Bee pollen, as huh? always. I actually used to take bee pollen quite a bit. It's um, really, really good. Yeah. You, you, and you, I know, put it in what your. Uh, like, juices, juices, smoothies. In the and, yes. And you can also get it in capsule form if you don't want to have to sprinkle it. But it's very, very good for allergies. Yeah. And one more um, that I am all about, uh, I actually kind of do on a fairly regular basis, is either a neti pot. Mm -hmm. which we have here on our lovely display. Isn't this nice? <laughs> this is so, so nice. We have a, a nice little neti pot here for you. And then also this one, uh, which you may or may not have seen before, neti pots have been kind of more and more popular for a few years. They've been gaining in popularity for people who have sinus issues, if you're not feeling well, if you it's, have a sinus It's a infection. saline rinse that goes through your nasal passage and yeah. cleanses and clears it. Clear, clears, cleanses it all out, washes it out. You do it in one uh, um, of your uh, nasal passages, one of your nostrils, and then you do it in the other. And gravity kind of does the work for you, takes the saline solution through and clears and cleanses you all out. There's another one though, which I kind of actually prefer, and it's a little squeezy bottle like this. And um, instead of letting gravity do the work, you kind of get to help it along. You gently squeeze squeeze that nasal, that, uh, that ceiling Some solution. Some manual assistance. A little manual assistance, which helps sometimes in certain scenarios. <laughs> um, but I, but I digress. The, um, you, but it helps you, it kind of helps you a lot so you're not relying on gravity yes. and it's less likely to then work its way back into your, into your mouth, which can sometimes happen with an eddy pot. Oh um, my if gosh. You're not, if you're not at exactly the right angle over the sink or something with your. And how about I throw thing. in this? Cause this is always a favorite. How uh, about bonus, one bonus quick tip? bonus tip? How did you know I was yes. going there. 
are. She had a bonus tip. The bonus tip is get naked. Ooh. Yes, when you're out and about, especially in New York City, all sorts of allergens, toxins, pollens get coated on our hair, on our clothes, everything. So as soon as you get home, take everything off and take a shower as soon as possible so that all of those allergens don't get coated around and you don't just sit in them. Good. So cleanse thyself inside Cle and out. Cleanse thyself <laughs> and get naked. I'm going to go get naked right Amen. now. Amen. Well, okay. I'll probably leave before that happens. That's a, that's a totally different show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, so those are some allergy tips for and you. And happy spring because we love spring. spring. Thank you, Lord, for the springtime Amen. because it has been long awaited yes. and much needed. We'll and take the allergies if they come along with spring. Absolutely, with the beautiful <laughs> weather outside. Yeah. And we thank you for watching us. Hey, all of our information is down below in the info box, right? So um, like us, tweet us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, please, please. We always love more subscribers. Uh, click on all the links down below. Follow us on social media. And we will see you next time in the tub, hopefully with more, uh, more helpful hints and not me naked because <laughs> nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great one, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. You getting in the tub or what? We're busy talking. We're talking about button, button noses. Totally unrelated to anything we're doing. We're talking about button noses. We're talking about button. Button. All right, uh, perfect. So that's going and this is going. So we're good. You guys know what you're talking about? Sure, we always do. Don't know why you always ask. And here we go. Five, four, three, two. Hmm. Oh, you're going to start, right? Oh, me? <laughs> Yeah, you're oh. going to be like, yeah, it's all you talked. Oh. And then he's going to say, hey guys, welcome to the Oh, okay. I forgot. To focus on people. That's what happens when you feed the shaman moonshine. All right. <laughs> and here we go.